My name is James Bezik. I'm a senior developer advocate here at AWS Serverless. This series is about the S3 to Lambda serverless design pattern and how it can become a flexible core for your serverless applications. This video shows how you can bring automated speech to text into your applications with minimal code. This solution uses Amazon Transcribe to automatically convert MP4 audio clips into text. You could use this type of serverless application to analyze customer support calls, for example. It could take the audio from your calls and convert the text for downstream analytics. This way, you could understand what topics your customers are commonly calling about. You can also combine with other AWS machine learning services like Amazon Comprehend. This would allow you to understand the sentiment of the calls to decide if the content is positive or negative, for example. The application I'm going to show you is doing just exactly that. It takes the transcribed text and uses Amazon Comprehend for a sentiment analysis score, which it stores in the Amazon DynamoDB table. The whole application can listen to an audio clip and arrive at a sentiment score to indicate if the words spoken are positive, negative, or neutral in tone. Let's take a look at the code. So the first thing I'm going to do is just git clone the repo. And I'll open the S3 to Lambda folder, and we'll just CD into the second example, transcribe. And here you can see we've got a SAM template. So I'm going to do a SAM deploy using the guided deploy on this template. I'll provide a stack name of jbezwa transcribe. I'm running in US West 2 in this case. I'll set a bucket name of jbezwa transcription, and then we'll just accept the defaults. OK, that's now deploying. So let's take a look at the template. So it takes a parameter of an input bucket name as a default, and then it specifies that bucket as a resource. It also uses a DynamoDB table in this example. And then there's two functions we're going to be using, a, trans a transcription function, which uses the transcribe function code in Node.js, and it responds to MP3 objects that are put into the bucket. And these are the IAM roles allowed for this function. There's also a sentiment function. This will look at the JSON output from the first function and use this to call comprehend to run sentiment analysis. And the code there is in the sentiment folder function. I'm going to look at the transcribe function first in app.js. Here's a standard lambda handler. So first of all, it goes through all of the different objects handed in there and packages them up into this params object. And it hands it to the transcribe service to start a transcription job. And really, that's all that function actually does. In the sentiment function, which responds to the JSON objects that now arrive in the bucket, it looks at the incoming JSON object and uses S3 to retrieve the content of JSON there and then it calls do sentiment analysis on that transcription. Do sentiment analysis is a function I wrote that's really just a wrapper for the detect sentiment function for Amazon Comprehend. And it returns that result. And once it has that result back in sentiment, it just simply builds a params object to store that in DynamoDB. OK, it looks like our SAM template is now finished deploying. So if I go to the bucket that's been created, JBezwa transcription. Currently, it's an empty bucket. So I've taken three audio clips of me reading reviews, some good, some bad, and one average. I'll just upload those. You can see review, bad, good, and average, MP3s. And I'll click Next to upload those. OK, those are now uploaded. Now, if I just refresh the contents, that temp file is an indication that these are now being processed by transcribe. So let's take a look in the transcribe service. OK, I'm in the wrong region. I just need to change my region to US West 2. And there you can see the three transcription jobs that have been created. And all three of those are in progress. Typically, they take as long as the length of the audio. And these clips are 20 to 30 seconds each. Now, the indication that the job is finished is the arrival of JSON files inside this S3 bucket. So I'll just refresh that. You can see now one of those, the bad review, is now finished. 
Let's have a look at that transcription job. I'll just click here, and now it shows you the output data location showing where the JSON file has been stored. And we'll take a look at that now. I'll make this public so we can download this and pull it into VS Code. Now looking at the JSON, the transcription is at the top, and that's just one big block of text that is everything that I said in the review. Further down, it shows each word that was said, along with a confidence score of how confident the service is of what I said. But we're just going to be using that transcription block to use comprehend. So now if I go to and look at the transcription bucket, we'll switch to DynamoDB, that you can see there's a transcribe table and all three of those files now have been processed and their scores are in this table. We've got the bad review with a negative score of 77%. And the average review shows a mixed score of 92 and the, and the good review shows a positive of 99, which are all in line with the contents of what were in those audio clips. And if I go back to the contents of the bucket, now all three jobs have been completed. You can see the JSON files there. Combining the S3 to Lambda design pattern with other AWS services gives you a lot of flexibility. It can really open the door to some creative solutions. In this case, I used Amazon Transcribe and Amazon Comprehend to convert speech to text and then perform a sentiment analysis, storing the results in DynamoDB. Since the services handle the scaling, this small application can process hundreds or even thousands of audio clips in parallel. The Lambda function contains only the minimal business logic to connect the services, just 60 lines of code in this case. Using the serverless application model, setting up a deployment package with the AWS resources in our code is also very easy. To download the examples from this video and deploy the application in your own account, visit this URL. Thanks for joining me for this walkthrough. Don't miss the other videos in this series that show other ways to use S3 to Lambda for your serverless applications. Happy coding!